Yard long margarita vortex cannon in three, two, one. I'm Alan Van, and this is Sarah Petkus, fellow contestant and drinking buddy from Mythbusters The Search. Today, we're in her local hackerspace in Las Vegas, Nevada for two reasons. One, I've always wanted to try a yard-long margarita, and two, I've always wanted to make a combustion vortex cannon. So here is the build challenge. Can we make a yard-long margarita bottle into a vortex cannon after drinking the yard-long margarita? Sarah will be acting as my designated builder for using power tools. Yes, because friends do not let friends drink and drink. <laughs> and remember, don't try anything you're about to see at home. We're what you call experts. <laughs> that wasn't awkward at all. <laughs> In theory, a combustion vortex can is pretty straightforward. You just need a combustion chamber and a barrel that gradually widens so that the expanding gas from the explosion has a chance to smooth out and become a vortex. I made this combustion vortex cannon earlier this year and it took a lot of research and testing. Propane comes in at this end and the explosion in the combustion chamber forces a vortex out over here. And it works really well, but I think there's an easier way. This is a yard long margarita. As you can tell, it's almost the exact shape that we want. There's a combustion chamber here, there's a barrel and it ends in a flared nozzle at the end. I'm pretty sure that if we fill this with propane, we can make it shoot vortexes. But first, I've got to drink everything that's inside of it. Cheers, Sarah. Cheers, Alan. Pretty good. <laughs> you ready to do horrible stuff to this? I'm gonna have Sarah drill a hole in the back of the yard long margarita so that we can fill the combustion chamber with propane and air. And then when we spark it, it should make a small explosion that should shoot a vortex out this end. We have a little like butthole in this now. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's a starter dimple in this now and I can stick the big, big drill bit in this tiny hole and then ream it out. Alright, fire it in 3, 2, 1! What was that? Let me Alan. try it again. Alan. Let me try it again. What the hell? <laughs> 3, 2, 1! It's going woo, and I need it to go pop. Okay, so what uh, are your thoughts? Do you have any weird shaped pieces of metal? So what we've learned on Mythbusters is that you can increase the rate of a gas explosion by putting a bunch of randomly shaped objects within it. What this does is cause the fuel to mix with the oxygen at a much quicker rate, pushing it out in a much larger burst. So what Alan here has done is found some stuff from around the shop, and he's kind of inserting them into the cannon at the moment. They happen to be binder clips. Am I doing a good job, Sarah? Yes, Alan, you are doing a fantastic job. All right, test number two with binder clips. Fire it in three, two, one. I did the calculations and it turns out for a combustion chamber this size, this barrel is way too narrow and short to actually produce a vortex. So we're going to need a smaller combustion chamber in the form of this aluminum beer can, which I'm also going to have to empty. <laughs> On top of using this beer can as a combustion chamber, I'm going to have Sarah actually turn the yard long margarita upside down. We're going to cut off this funnel and attach the combustion chamber here and then cut a hole at this end and use this as the nozzle. This looks a lot more similar to vortex cannons where a shotgun or another kind of gun is retrofitted to shoot a vortex. <laughs> yeah. That's straight enough. That's plenty straight. All right, all right. Yard long margarita vortex cannon. Three, two, one. I I hope I shot I shot a little high. Let me try that again. There's a vortex coming up though. In three, two, one. Yes!
So how are you feeling, Alan? Sober? I'm feeling better. You're feeling good? Yeah, you're coming out of it? <laughs> Thank you, Sarah, for helping me build a sweet Vortex Cannon. Make sure you check out her channel, Gravity Road, where she makes cool and creepy robots. Yes. If you like what you see, make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching.